These are Japanese Ippon Geta. They're a single cleat Japanese wooden clogs. Now they're very popular with children, and uh, Emily's going to show us how to wear hers and uh, walk around in them. Go ahead and put them on, sweetheart. So she can just slide right in. There she goes. Okay, why don't you show us how you can walk in them? Why don't you walk this way? Great. Can kids run in Ipongeta? Wow, can you climb these steps? How about over here? Can you climb over here? No problem. All right, come on back down. Thanks for showing us how to use them. Emily, are they, are they comfortable? No? <laughs> okay, thanks a lot for showing us, Emmy. Say bye-bye. Hello. The uh, video that you've just seen is a little bit that was shot some time back showing uh, Emily uh, teaching us how to use her Ippon Geta. Uh, geta are tradi traditional Japanese wooden clogs, and Ippon Geta are a special type as they have only one cleat. A normal geta will have uh, two cleats, such as these here. And this is indeed the item that is uh, listed. Actually, this pair. <laughs> these, this is a small uh, child size uh, pair of Japanese geta clogs. They um, include a wooden body with a uh, fabric straps for the, uh, for the, to hold them onto the feet. The, each of the geta are formed from a, a single block of wood. You can see the uh, wood grain there. And you can see that the entire piece was cut from a single block of wood. The um, straps are secured into place on the bottom with these metal cleats. And at the back with uh, this tied um, knot that holds the uh, two ends together. These two ends come down through, around and inside, and then are knotted together. Japan, uh, geta are very popular with uh, children in Japan. Uh, adults wear them sometimes at festivals and other traditional events, but uh, children sometimes wear them at school or sometimes uh, outdoors. We've, in our community, we can sometimes see uh, children wearing geta in the uh, summertime, just wandering around and hearing the little, the little clop, clop, clop <coughs> is a delightful sound of summer. Uh, the kindergarten that Emily attended when she was younger um, actually issued uh, geta as standard footwear and the kids basically went either with geta or barefoot. It was a, kind of an old-fashioned type of school and they adhered to some of the uh, standards of the, how uh, children were raised in old Japan. The idea was basically that the uh, um, lack of footwear or the use of uh, simple open exposed footwear even in the winter time would keep the children's feet healthy and help toughen them up a little. <laughs> anyway, these uh, geta are up for your consideration. They're uh, suitable for use. They're, they actually are in good shape. You could wear them if you want, but uh, it might be hard to find a, a foot that would fit well in them. They're a bit small. You can see that they've had a lot of use in the past. You can see how the front is worn down on the geta. All right, just something to consider here. Hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing these geta and seeing Emily in action on her Ippon geta. Thanks for dropping by. Take care.